Greetings everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ancient Stone Tablets. We're going to broadcast some more Zelda. We are in week three of the broadcast. We start um, in actually Link's house from the previous game, Link to the Past. So here we are. We're getting all our shit back. And uh, yeah, there we go. So Sasra is telling us we can go outside, call the bird, go wherever we want to go. In the meantime, they're going to look for the Book of Mudora. Uh, believe it or not, the Book of Mudora is actually an item that we cannot use in this game, but they will use it in the plot device type of way. So here we go. We got a shitty worn-out glove with holes in it. This is kind of a gimmick item. Uh, you can use it once per screen to lift a rock. So basically, it's like the Power Glove, except it has very, very limited use. So that's kind of a way that they give you a way to lift rocks, but not totally be able to get everywhere just yet. But, um, needless to say, we're going to be having a power glove here really soon. So anyway, today we're going to go after the fifth tablets. Um, also collect some other stuff in the way, but we're going to do a little bit of exploring now, because we actually haven't been able to go around Link's Hut. Um, the thing directly to the west, uh, we have a rental store. I'll do that later. I always do that kind of around the end, because I like to make sure I get everything done before. And hey, we got a minigame! Uh, we've played this minigame in Link to the Past. Can't play it now, though, yet, because, uh, it's not ready. Although it looked like it was running pretty well to me. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, um, I'm not going up there just yet. I'll go up there a little later. Check out the kid. See, there's a little demo. You can only use the rock lifting power once per screen, but once you leave the screen and come back, you can do it again. So, you're never really trapped. Hmm, a gap. There's actually a lot of gaps now in the game where... We have to use the hookshot to cross. There's going to be a lot of item switching going on. Anyway, we've completed yet another heart container. We are well on our way to getting all of the heart pieces. I'm hopefully going to get them all. I think I've gotten them all so far. Uh, haven't really missed one yet, so... Hopefully I'm getting them all. I mean, I'm pretty sure I am. Although I don't think there's... Well, there is a way to tell, and I'm actually going to show that off a little bit later. Um, probably in the second video is actually when I do show that off. But there is a screen where you can check your status for the week. You can see where you are, what items there are left to collect, things like that. But we'll get to that when we get to that. I'm just running around exploring shit because, you know, in the last game there was a portal there under that rock. In this game, there's nothing but dirt under that rock. What can you say? Shit, too many bombs. Tommy, you need to chill out with your bombs, man. Alright, so here's another puzzle. Um, this is another one of those puzzles where if you don't get all the chests and you come back into this room, all of the chests will be open and you won't be able to get them all. So you have to get them all in one go. It's pretty simple, though, if you follow the pattern that I just did. That uh, was, you know, several attempts of practice to get that one going correctly. But uh, I figured it out. You know, all my low, low block puzzle pushing skills uh, were put to the test there. Anyway, we can run around the swamp here a little bit longer, but uh, there's really not much that much more to explore right now. I mean, I could go over to the lake, but there's nothing to do over there right now. I'm actually going to have to save that for uh, after this dungeon. And then the desert isn't quite open yet, because there's a path of rocks that we can't lift all of them. You know, we'd have to lift more than one per screen. We can't get over there just yet. What I can get is this 100 rupees. We are well on our way to halfway to five figures. I think it could be possible. It's possible. Anyway, uh, fifth dungeon is right here. In the swamp pumping station or wherever. The same place where there was uh, a dungeon in the dark world. <clears throat> Excuse me, of Link to the Past. Uh, thank you, Agana, for telling me about the glove with holes in it, but I got that right at the beginning, like four minutes ago, bro. Seriously, and here I am forgetting how to kill these things. Just die. There you go. Anyway, the fifth dungeon is... Uh, it's not very hard, actually. It's pretty straightforward. Um, there are a lot of hidden rooms, though, but once again, this version of Link to the Past, the Ancient Stone Tablets broadcast, actually has a lot of hidden rooms in the dungeons, which is a mechanic that I think is really cool, and I think, you know... A lot of the dungeons in the original game might have, uh, I guess, 
benefited from this kind of mechanic, where you have a lot of hidden rooms that aren't quite very obvious, but if you look at the map, you can see where they are. So, um, but anyway. Well, who am I to complain about Link to the Past? It's a pretty great game, but... Every game has its flaws, even that one. Anyway, we are descending deeper, and speaking of hidden rooms... Check your map, Tommy! There it is. Yes, there's a room directly to the south of where we're standing, so... Obviously, there's a door. Time to bomb some shits. Alright, and this hidden room holds 50 rupees and our compass! Now we can see where the boss is hiding out. Although, like I said, this dungeon is really straightforward. It's not exactly a maze, so finding the boss is relatively simple. It's just a matter of getting to the end of the pathway, but... You know, there's not too much um, in the secret areas that you actually have to collect. Anyway, now that we have our compass, we are ready to go. Continuing on this dungeon. Trying to bust out the arrows on these Stolfos. Alright, so if you could see down at the bottom, they're still trying to figure out where the Book of Midoriya is, and Agana is now asking the Seer to help him find it, so... There you go. This is a pretty difficult puzzle at first, when you, you know, you don't realize which blocks are pushable, but... Um, you notice through trial and error that the center blocks are the ones that are pushable, and that is how you can get through. Now, you have to light all of the torches to be able to progress to the next room, not too difficult a task, though, once you've pushed all the blocks out of the way, as long as you can kind of remember how your pathway is. So yes, the seer, even with his magical divinations, is not able to find the Book of Mudora. No matter! We will be just fine, I think, for now. So this room actually kind of puzzled me. Um, there is the button that is on the floor. I, for some reason, thought that I could push something onto it. Um, I don't have that cane that summons blocks, so... I guess I'll just have to leave it for now. That was a close one. Almost got Electro Jelly fished. As you can see, there is a secret room over to the east, so... Bombs away! Of course, the secret room has nothing in it but money. Oh well. Money's good, right? Money's good for points. Alright, so I'm actually kind of wasting a little bit of time right now because I still have it. Oh, look at that glitch down there. Cool graphical glitch game. That's actually not a part of the broadcast. That is a glitch from the uh, patched ROM, unfortunately. Sorry about that. It just comes up from time to time. Anyway, uh, yeah, here I am trying to... I don't know, what the fuck. Just get out of here, Tommy. Well, coming back here wasn't, you know, a lost cause, because there is a secret room, which has money! Money galore! And there's another secret room! This secret room also has money. They've all got money. Richest motherfucker on the planet right now. I guess, you know, everyone in Hyrule is just storing their money in chests, in dungeon walls, in holes, and we're just looting the fuck out of everyone. Uh, like, we don't even care. But, once again, remember, this is the 90s. Everyone was, I mean, they were practically handing out money. And look! Lenny! He came back! Wow! How you doing? Yes, this is one of the scripted events, right at exactly the 15-minute mark. The golden bee appears in whatever room you're in. You can grab him. Um, I'm going to get rid of this this, uh, this horrible bee that I've already got. That was a little bit of a sneak peek at the today's goal screen. I'll show that off a little bit more um, in the next video. Uh, no, get out of my way. You're inferior bee. I want Lenny. Hell yes. Alright, well, the inferior bee will help me kill off some of these wizards here in this room. Although, I prefer the good bee, because he doesn't disappear. Although, Lenny did run off on us a few times. 
uh, when we had, you know, we were playing Link to the Past, but that's okay. I mean, he had, he had shit he had to do. And he couldn't be bothered with our quest the whole time. Lenny had his own quest! So here we are, yet another thief in the walls. He's gonna let us hold more bombs. And goddammit, if they just didn't default to the no answer, it wouldn't be such a big deal. Oh well. So, I guess they're just, they're having a hard time finding that book. So here's the solution to that button puzzle in the room below. It's to fall down and fuck up. Yeah, let's do this right. Um, we had to push the blocks down. Now that one actually would have been the only one I needed to push down, but just to be safe, I'm pushing all of them down, because you never know. You can never be too safe. This is actually a puzzle that showed up in one of the Link to the Past dungeons, where you pushed a block from above down below that you could use to open a, uh, a thing. I don't remember which dungeon it was, though, but I think it was the same dungeon where you got the cane that summoned blocks. Although I could be way wrong, and I probably am, and someone is gonna prove me wrong very quickly. I imagine. As is the status quo of the LP. Spot the Mistake is a is a favorite game of Mecha Prime fans. Uh, looks like we have a secret room here off to the left. Let's check it out. I bet there's money in it. Fuck you, Fireball. You can't hurt me. Oh boy, I was right. A lot of torch puzzles showing up in this, uh, this area. Kind of makes me wish I had the fire rod, but whatever. You get what you get, right? Alright, let's get out of here. Let's actually progress or something. You know how it goes. Alright, so we can get a nice little refill here. This ring of pots has uh, stuff under it. But of course, I am being distracted by the Stolfos in the room. Too busy to collect shit right now. There we go. A little bit of a health refill, a little bit of bomb refill, a little bit of arrow refill, you know. Feeling a little bit low. Feeling down in the dumps. We got pot to pick you up. Or pots. Pots! I meant pots! Not pot. I mean, what? This is the 90s. Nobody smoked weed. Hey, look at that chest. The chest is our way to progress, and it also contains the big key! Oh yeah! We can now open up the uh, chest containing the big prize. We can also open up the door to the boss. Alright, it's so a little bit of a crystal switch puzzle here. And my uh, crystal switch instincts are telling me that I need to trip it, but remotely. And I'm actually right. So, we want to set a bomb there and then get to the other side before it blows up. Otherwise, uh, all you can do right here is grab the treasure. You won't be able to progress. So the treasure is the power glove! So now we can lift more stones per screen. We can lift an infinite number of stones per screen. We can lift light-colored stones no matter what the size. Still can't lift the dark colored stones, but, you know, that that's for a later time. Oh, I see that I missed yet another secret room. Let's go check it out. Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh, money. My wallet is engorged with rupees. Rupees like you wouldn't even believe. Alright, let's get moving here. Alright, so up here we have an optional treasure. Um, you don't have to get it, but I'm gonna get it because I'm getting all the treasures. You know, every dungeon seems to have an optional item and a regular item. This dungeon's optional item is the level 3 sword! Wow, we just got the level 2 sword in the last broadcast. Looks like we're getting a sword upgrade pretty much every broadcast now. 
One can only predict what we're gonna get in the final one. Anyway, the other treasure chest, treasure chest contains a key. So the level 3 sword in this game is actually the first one that can shoot beams. It's a little bit different from uh, Link to the Past where the Master Sword could shoot beams, the level 2 sword. But uh, that's okay. This one will shoot beams as long as all of your hearts are full. And such. Looks like Princess Zelda is now looking for the Book of Medora. They were mentioning earlier that she might know where it is. But, uh, looks like she doesn't. What can you do? I mean, it's just a book. It's just a giant green book. I mean, Link dropped it somewhere. Oh boy! So at the 22 minute mark, you now have an infinite number of bombs, so let's abuse the hell out of that for this boss fight. Alright, we've got boss music. We've got desert motif out of nowhere already. I don't know how the fuck there's a sandy desert under a swamp, but whatever. So we're fighting the, uh, desert boss, desert temple boss, whatever, here in the swamp, whatever. So we remember this guy from Link to the Past. It's just three worms. You can hit their heads. They die. That's it. You have the level three sword by now, so actually killing them is relatively simple. They die pretty quickly. Um, I mean, we could, <laughs> I'm taking a lot of damage using the infinite bombs, just trying to bomb them, but whatever, it's easier just to use your sword. So that's that. We collect our piece of hearts. A few more bombs. Bomb the fuck out of this ancient stone tablet. And we are on our way. We now have five tablets. Only three more remain. And we will have completed whatever the hell we're supposed to be completing right now. Not really sure. They have some kind of significance. Not sure what that is. We're gonna find it out. Alright, so, uh, well, I would sign off right now, but I want them to finish what they're saying. Talking about the Book of Mordora, they still can't find the goddamn thing. I don't know what they're doing or where they're looking, but I bet if I went to go find them, uh, they would be just standing in one spot, not even moving. So anyway, yeah, their brother, uh, Agonize saying his brother would know exactly where it is, but we'll leave that for another time. I'll see you then, later.